everyone and welcome to it. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Alexa Ray. For today's video, I am so, so very excited to be doing another reading vlog with you guys. Yay! Already know what we are reading for today's reading vlog. That's right, we are reading Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. I promised you guys in my last reading vlog that this would be our next one. I had a poll, you guys voted, you really wanted me to read this. But we are reading Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover for our second ever reading vlog on my channel. And I'm not mad about it. I am so excited to read this with you guys. You all have hyped it up so much. You say it's one of her best books ever, that I'm gonna love it. So we're doing it today and we're reading this book. I read about two or three books of Colleen Hoover's now and I am obsessed with her. I love her her writing, I love her storytelling, I love all her characters. I am really excited to read this today. I've been dying to read it and we're finally here. We are reading it today. It's not exactly love at first sight for Tate Collins when she meets the tormented and secretive Miles Archer. They wouldn't even go so far as to consider themselves friends. The only thing Tate and Miles have in common is a mutual physical attraction that can't be denied. Once their desires are out in the open, they realize they might have stumbled on the perfect no strings arrangement. Friends with benefits or like the whole no strings relationship thing never works. It never works. Someone always catches feelings. Someone always gets hurt. I already know where this is going, I feel like. He isn't looking for love and she doesn't have time for it. So that leaves just the sex. What they've got could be surprisingly satisfying as long as Tate can stick to the two rules Miles has for her. Never ask about the past. Don't expect a future. They think they can handle it, but everything is different when real emotions start to change the equation. Obviously. Obviously. We just talked about this. Of course they're getting feelings for each other. Hearts get infiltrated, promises get broken, rules get shattered, love gets ugly. This is going to be a no-spoiler reading vlog, so if you haven't read this yet and you want to read along with me, or if you haven't read it and you don't want to read it just yet, I'm not going to give away any of the major secrets or spoilers of the book. We're just going to go through it and you guys are going to get to see like my real reactions to parts the book but I'll never give away like the big secrets and the major points of it so this is a safe video to watch if you haven't read the book at the end of it I'll put in a little section for spoilers and if you don't want to watch that you could just skip ahead but I always love to talk about some of the things that happen in the book just so that those of you who have read the book or if you read the book with me and we can all talk in the comments bounce ideas and thoughts off each other and just dissect the book together also one more thing if you guys have a Goodreads account I have mine linked down below if you want to go friend me and follow along with the reading journey and our reading goals for 2022. My goal is to read 50 books this year. I think we can do it. I'm really excited to get started so we are just gonna jump right into this reading vlog. We are finally starting. Ugly love. I always love her little dedications in the beginning. I think they're so sweet. This one is for my two very best friends who also happen to be my sisters, Lynn and Murphy. Chapter 1, Tate. Somebody stabbed you in the neck, young lady. Strong start. Oh, it's not what we think, guys. It's not what we think. So I just finished chapter one, and right away I noticed that chapter one was labeled Tate, and chapter two is labeled Miles. I'm starting to notice this common theme in all of Colleen Hoover's books, but it looks like in this one we're gonna go between Tate and Miles, chapter to chapter. Basically see, like, their different point of views and what they're going through in life, which I really love because I feel like I get to know both characters so well. That's really cool. But chapter one was quite crazy. So it looks like Tate is moving from San Diego to San Francisco to live with her brother Corbin. She's attending school to get her master's in nursing. And I think Corbin is a pilot. Right off the bat, Tate gets to his apartment and he's not home because he's working. And there's a drunk guy outside the door. And she can't get in. And he is just so drunk to the point that he can't even walk or talk right. So this is their first encounter. And when Tate calls Corbin and he realizes who it is that it's his friend Miles, his neighbor from across the hall. He asks Tate to take Miles into the apartment and just like let him crash on the couch. She obviously says yes. He is just honestly a drunk mess. He must have done something to this girl ex-girlfriend because that's all he keeps talking about. It really isn't love at first sight for them because Miles is so drunk that he can't even walk. So we're on to chapter two. It's labeled Miles and it says six years earlier. 
I feel like we're gonna get like a really big insight into like their lives and what they've been through. Okay, we're gonna keep reading. Miles chapter took place like back in time, like six years earlier. He was in high school, so we're kind of getting like an insight into his life when he was younger. Rachel appeared. He met Rachel six years earlier, so it's kind of giving us like an insight into what that was all about and why six years later he was passed out drunk in front of his neighbor's door crying for Rachel so already getting very juicy but now we're on to chapter three we're back to Tate and we're back to current time oh my god it's already like getting so steamy and spicy guys Corbin came back home Miles is sober Tate and Miles have like spoke to each other while you know he's actually sober not drunk and slurring his words it seems like a very like heavy tension Tate is kind of being like aggressive in her word choice I feel like obviously she just drove from San Diego to San Fran to a brother's apartment to then have to take care of his drunk friend I mean I wouldn't really be too happy if I was hurt either but Miles is almost like the same type of vibe he woke up in the morning and he was just being demanding like what happened to my hand where's my keys where's my phone blah 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 so it's weird as much as Tate can't stand him already she's definitely like attracted to him also I think it's really interesting because Tate was talking about how Corbin's always been like super protective over her and like never lets guys around her and stuff yet he's so comfortable with Miles being around her so that's also really interesting okay so Miles has definitely had a hard childhood in like coming up that's all I'm gonna say but it seems like he really went through a lot when he was younger and maybe that will explain his character in present time with Tate. First comment, we love Cap. He's like the doorman at the apartment building and he's like super old like in his 80s and he's adorable. And it seems like Tate really likes him too because she's like taking him sandwiches and food and stuff. So far I love that relationship. He just seems like the cutest like old man ever. Second, we hate Dylan. I'm not gonna tell you why but we do not like Dylan. He's a jerk third i kind of like miles i like miles vibe in this he's very like protective over tate and i don't know if it's because corbin told him to be protective and corbin's protective over tate or if it's because miles likes tate and he feels the need to be protective over her regardless we love it miles is definitely catching my attention now miles is a pilot like corbin that's how they know each other they were in pilot school together oh my gosh okay we're on chapter six miles six years earlier okay guys it's the morning time and honestly i'm just not feeling that great so i think we're gonna have like a chill day and just like lay in bed and read all day i'm on chapter seven now and we're back to like current time and tate we're still like in the process of like setting everything up and the characters so i feel like reading his story from six years ago is really setting up to explain like why he is the way he is is today we're gonna keep reading and see what happens so <laughs> it's so weird but this is just like the vibe i'm getting this whole thing reminds me of like having a crush on someone in like high school or something miles is coming home with tate and corbin to do thanksgiving dinner because his family is like working and busy i just i don't know i bet something happens Oh my god. <laughs> Up until this point, he hasn't showed any signs of interest in Tate. Your typical dude, like, just doesn't care about anything. And they're in the car, and he's driving, and Tate's in the back, and she kicks her feet up to, like, relax and stretch out. And he goes to put his, like, arm there, and she goes to take her feet off, and he grabs her foot he grabs her foot he's like it's okay like you can keep your foot here or whatever and he literally he caresses her foot i'm sorry what i think he likes her i feel like i'm reading two epic love stories at the same time and it's so hard because they both include miles i don't know how to feel because i love seeing him with two different people oh my gosh this is so good guys oh my god miles cut his hand grabbing a ladder to save corbin because it was falling obviously tate being a nurse was like aiding to him he had her stitch his hand up 
keep rubbing my eyes because I'm so tired and they're so puffy. So I feel like I could talk about this just because like it's like already given to us in like a little summary of the book. Kate and Miles got together. Oh my gosh. They basically have come up with the arrangement like we talked about earlier. They're gonna do like a no strings attached type of thing. This is already like getting so steamy and like weird. <laughs> like they were kissing and Tate's dad walked in. <laughs> what? I just finished up chapter 13. It's getting intense. Wow. My whole thought process with this is like, what does Tate think her brother is going to think? Seeing that in the past he was very like overprotective of Tate, I don't see this ending well. Tate has kind of developed feelings for Miles. Obviously, like she's going to want more out of this. Is like, is Miles going to want more out of this? Or is Miles still hung up on his past? Past. I feel really bad for past Miles because it's just like the things that are happening to him like he can't control You never know with Colleen Hoover. I can feel it inside me that something twisted is going to happen in this book Oh my gosh. In the beginning of the book, when Tate met Miles, she noticed that his apartment didn't have like anything in it really. Like, I mean, he has furniture, I guess, but it wasn't decorated. Like it was super bland and just sad and dull. So she made a comment to him and now, like fast forward a few chapters, he invited her to go shopping with him to get curtains and a rug. That doesn't sound like no strings attached to me. I am not ready for Colleen Hoover to break my heart in this. I am not ready. <laughs> the amount of times I stop to take pictures of certain pages because they make me so happy and like give me butterflies. <laughs> okay guys, we are more than halfway done. It's just so cute. I love the whole idea of this book right now. You know, Tate has her older brother Corbin who's super overprotective and doesn't want any guy to like hit on her or talk to her. And now she has Miles who obviously like is overprotective of her. He might not admit it. And he might not admit that he likes her, but I am definitely getting the sense that he has feelings for her because there was just a very, very intense scene between Tate and the friend Dylan, who was like a total jerk head. We don't like Dylan here. Miles stood up for her and was very overprotective of her. It's one of those romance books that give you the butterflies. You know what I mean? Like okay, take note. Chapter 19. A little bit intense. It started out really good and I really liked it. I was vibing with it. I'm loving Miles. I'm loving Tate. And then it ended and I don't know how to feel right now. I just kind of feel bad for Tate. It was weird. Chapter 19 is weird. No. Tate and Miles are like in this weird fight thing right now. I don't even know if I'd consider it a fight, but like it's just weird because Miles doesn't want to open up about his past. Tate obviously wants to know about his past. They've been doing this whole arrangement now for a while. They're obviously growing feelings for one another. I just, I don't know what's gonna happen. And like, I'm scared to keep reading to see like what happened to him. It's so cute too, because Tate is like telling Cap everything and like confiding in him. And it's so cute because he like keeps cracking like jokes with her to make her laugh. And it's just, Cap is so cute. Cap is my favorite character right now. We're on chapter 24 now and I'm pretty sure we're about to hit the climax in Miles and Rachel's story. I'm not ready. We're so close to the end. Everyone always says that this book makes them cry and like it's so heartbreaking and I'm just like so scared because I feel like it's about to get really heartbreaking. I literally, my heart is beating so fast right now. We've hit the worst part. So now we know why Miles is the way he is. Sometimes after reading like Colleen Hoover books, it just makes me wonder like, how did she write this? Did something happen to her? It's just always the craziest plot twist. And I always think that I'm ready for it. And then I get to it and I'm like, oh, I'm not ready. Every chapter has gone back and forth between Tate and Miles. And Tate is obviously in the present time and Miles was six years previously. We got to see like an insight to his life and what kind of like turned him into the person he was and like why he hates relationships and love and everything. Now, we just got to a chapter that's Miles, present day. Then it's Rachel. This is going to be 
probably the most important chapter of this entire book is probably Rachel's chapter. Oh my gosh, guys. We just finished the book. I think this might be my favorite Colleen Hoover book that I've read so far. This just like gave me all the feels. This was so good. Oh my gosh. This was amazing. This was so beautiful. It is definitely my favorite book by Colleen Hoover right now. I am not disappointed. This is one of the cutest books ever. It hits all the feels, all the emotions. Wow. I always say this about Colleen Hoover, but her storytelling, it is so good. Like how, how does she even come up with these stories? I seriously like just want to ask her that. Like how does she get these ideas? Because they are so good. So we already know this book follows the story of Tate and Miles. They start off with this, you know, arrangement. It's more like them just hooking up whenever. But obviously that never works. We know that never works. Miles is so cute and so sweet throughout the entire story. And I just like feel so bad for him because he didn't have the best coming up in a way. I just really think it's so beautiful like his development throughout the story and I just also love like all the like side characters in it. Like I love Cap. He is so cute. Tate is always like talking to him and like gossiping with him, telling him the tea about her and Miles and he was just such a cute like side character. He just made my heart so happy. I thought that Corbin and Tate's parents were really funny and cute. Like they were only in it for a really like tiny part but they were really funny corbin obviously he's the brother he was just funny because he's like that stereotypical older brother who's super protective and like hates anyone that even looks at his younger sister this is so good guys honestly 10 out of 5 stars that's how good this is but this was definitely like one of my favorites because i wasn't so sad the entire book <laughs> i was more like on my heels on like what would happen next and stuff like that this is a part in the video where if you haven't read this book and it's entirety don't watch this part of the video so i guess like the first spoiler thing that i want to talk about is rachel and miles because throughout the video i didn't really talk about rachel because i didn't want to spoil it for everyone she's such an important part in miles past i thought it was so crazy that i didn't see it coming that when miles first saw rachel and was like oh my gosh i love rachel i want rachel to have all my babies i can't believe that i didn't predict that she would be his dad's girlfriend daughter. I was just kind of disappointed in myself. I was like, wow, I feel like that was such an easy prediction and I didn't predict it. Like, I get it, but it was so weird in a way that Miles and Rachel were like hooking up and stuff while their parents were away without them knowing and like their whole relationship, like I understood it. And it's not that it's wrong because they're not siblings, obviously, but it was so weird. They were like step siblings, kind of. Like, I get it, but I was like, this is so weird. And then when she got pregnant, I was like, I thought it was just Rachel getting pregnant and like maybe something happened with their families and this and that but no twist in this book was their child dying like you know when it clicks in your head and you're like oh this is why this character is the way they are that's when it clicked in my head I was like oh that whole thing was just wild the second spoiler that I thought was so crazy was the fact that Miles and Cap had known each other Miles entire life Cap had been like a maintenance person for Miles family for like several generations so he's watched Miles grow up so the entire story while we're learning about Tate creating this relationship with Cap and like talking about Miles like Cap knew Miles the whole time what and then at the end we find out that Miles was talking to Cap the entire story too I thought that was so cute because I love loved loved cap in the story i thought he was just such a cute sweet character to throw in there last spoiler i'll talk about for this video is just miles and tate's relationship throughout and like the relationship growth and how it began and ended so for thanksgiving when miles went home with tate and corbin and he cut his hand and he kissed tate I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this is happening right now. And then when they were making out in the kitchen in the middle of the night and her dad walked in and like just acted like it was a normal thing. It's just like such a weird scene in the book. And I was like, what's going on? But I think like the entire story was just so crazy because they like couldn't keep their hands off each other. And you could tell that like they both were growing feelings for each other. But Miles would like never admit it to Tate. I thought it was really sad too. It was like towards like the middle when Miles calls Tate Rachel. 
I cringed so hard. How romantic and sweet to end this story with Miles giving her a key, asking her to move in with him, and then immediately giving her a ring after and proposing. That's all the spoilers and tea I'm gonna talk about for now. Okay, everyone, that is all for my reading vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed reading this beautiful masterpiece with me. I can't believe how good this is. My favorite Colleen Hoover book by far. Like this book literally blew all the other books I've read out of the water just because I'm such a sucker for good romances, guys. And I'm sure if you've been here for a while, you probably already know that. This is so, so good. I honestly needed a book like this right now because I just finished reading Evelyn Hugo and that ripped my heart out like multiple times so I feel like I needed this so if you haven't read this book yet I 100% recommend if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up because it really helps me out and it lets me know that you guys like this type of content you like my book content my reading vlogs and all that good stuff so go like the video go do it right now we'll wait don't forget to comment down below any book recs you have for me if you've read this book what are your opinions and thoughts this was a book rec by you guys you guys have not steered me wrong yet so don't forget to subscribe down below to my channel if you like my vibe if you like my content i post weekly guys i post weekly it's basically free entertainment every single week you might as well subscribe i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and i'll see you in my next video